the first and most important point, which you heard in the, in the excerpt there, is um, something that I've been saying from the beginning, and that is the situation is never the problem. The problem is always and only how we see ourselves in that situation. And our reactions are based on our perception of ourselves. Our reactions are based on who we think we are in that situation. Now, it turns out this is really good news because we often can't change the external situations. We can't change the external circumstances. We certainly can't change other people. But we can always change how we see ourselves. All right, so um, now just to, cope, to circle back a little bit. So the acronym, I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but it's worth looking at again. The acronym for FEAR is false evidence appearing real uh, or F everything and run. Now it turns out that first definition, that first acronym is actually pretty accurate. And I come to the conclusion, I'll give you a little foreshadow of the end of the chapter. I come to the conclusion that one of the most important things we can say about fear is that it's not real. It is truly false evidence that appears real in our consciousness and our awareness. But again, that's based on, it's based always and only on who we think we are, how we see ourselves in that situation. So all my anxieties, all my fears, all my worries, all my concerns, it's not a function of what's happening outside of me. Now, we're not going to throw common sense to the wind. In a moment, we're going to talk about the difference between fear and caution. But all those, all those my, my assessment and my reaction and the meaning I give a situation is always based on who I think I am. And as I work to change that, I can tell you from my own life, this is my own experience, as I change how I see myself, in fact, I'm going to talk about an experience I had this afternoon in a minute. As I change how I see myself, my fear goes down. You know, the more I see myself as capable, as as being able to take care of myself and all of that, I'm less anxious, I'm less afraid. All right, now I still pay attention, I still do what I need to do to take care of myself, but I do it from a different place. And that's, that's a really important distinction. All right, so false evidence appearing real or my favorite, F everything and run. All right, so now, uh, as you heard in the, in the audio book a moment ago, I've come up with my own definition of fear. And, um, you know, this is my truth. Uh, I've shared it with some other people. Apparently other people relate to it. Perhaps your, your definition is a little different. But for me, fear is an emotional response to perception of ourselves as powerless and or unlovable in a given situation. All right, now again, as you heard in the, ex, in the excerpt from the audiobook, we can break this down. So the first thing to look at is an emotional response. And again, I'm sure you've heard it before, emotion equals energy in motion. Uh, I talk about how fear is a paralyzing emotion. It shuts us down. Fear is a, is a form of resistance. I always say for me, procrastination is not about being lazy. Being lazy is usually not about being lazy. Procrastination is a five-syllable word for fear. It shuts us down. It becomes difficult to take action. It becomes difficult to do what we need to do in our lives, much less you know, show up on a regular basis, much less go out and build a business, build a career, write a book, you know, whatever it is that we want to do. 